Which one of these do you prefer? Or As you could hear there, there was a subtle difference in the resolution. That was a sus4 chord. We also have sus2 chords, which I'm going to tell you about today. Sus means suspended, and I find that the sus2 and the sus4 are two really, really awesome chords to help expand your horizons when it comes to resolutions and overall arrangement of how you place your chords in a chord progression or substitutions maybe. All the terminology that I'm gonna use in this lesson, by the way, such as naming different intervals and interactions between key signatures and scales, chords, etc., is all covered in my course, Guitar Super System, which is linked right down in the description. So check that out if you're interested. First, let's find out exactly what a sus2 and a sus4 chord are. So we'll use this nice little key of C. And first, let's figure out exactly what a C major chord is, and this is also known as a C triad. Again, triads are also covered in my course, Guitar Super System. So a normal major chord, or also called a triad, consists of the root, third, and a fifth. So with a major chord, we have a major third, and with a minor, chord or minor triad, we have a minor third. So both of those are sounds that you're already familiar with, I'm sure. So if you wanted to take the C major scale, we have the first note root, major third, and the fifth. So first note, third note, fifth note of the scale, and if we wanted to flatten that third, that is where the one, three, and five comes from. Now, with a sus chord, the sus four chord was what we'll start with. It consists of the root, and then one, two, three, four, the fourth, and the fifth. So this major third is going to be substituted for a fourth. And coming back down here to our nice home position of C, we would take this major third, move it up a half step, because we know that in the major scale, the relationship between the intervals of the third and the fourth is just a half step. So that would be a C sus four. Remember, C major, C sus four. So a sus chord does not have any kind of third major or minor. And you guessed it, a sus2 chord has this major third, in this case, taken away for a major second. So it would be C, D, G. If you wanted to make it a little bit more uh, coherent up here, we would have this kind of shape. So instead of a C major chord, we'll take this major third, push it down to the major second. And as well, major, major chord here, move this major third up. So this is like that Hendrix-y thing. So with the lick that I started this video with, which was something like this, this has kind of a, a major tonality to it. So that's why I chose to end with a sus4 to major. I always find that the sus4 chord is really uh, more drawing you towards that home bass, and I think it works better in major contexts as opposed to minor, which is where I think the sus2 can really set up that minor tonality. So instead of C major, if we switched over to C minor, So again, those sus4 chords kind of had a tendency to resolve. But with sus2 chords, I find that they're actually really good to substitute 
for your ending chords or your root chords. And one of my favorite sus2 chords is a D sus2 chord. So in this key of D, that would be just a D major chord. Instead of ending on that, we can end on a sus2 chord. And a little pop culture reference for sus2 chords is the late, great Tom Petty, rest in peace, wrote an awesome song called Free Fallen. You've definitely heard it. There is sus2 chords and sus4 chords in it. And it starts with an F sus2 going to an F major triad then to an F sus4, and then ending on a C sus4. And it sounds something like this. And you can also choose to substitute that last C sus4 chord with just an F sus2 chord, so something like this. Either way, sounds amazing. So there you have it, friends. Sus2 and Sus4 chords are really, really awesome sounding, and they can really do a lot for your playing with just a little tweak of one note, the third note of a chord to a fourth or a second. And again, this is just kind of the tip of the iceberg when it comes to chord substitution and things like that. So if you want to learn more about intervals and how chords function in different key signatures, things like that, then definitely check out my course, Guitar Super System, linked down in the description. I appreciate your support. It really helps me keep doing what I do here on Music is Win. So I hope this was a helpful lesson for you guys. And until next time, keep shredding. Mm -hmm.